Hello, viewers or whatever. Um, today we're going to do an oil change in this push mower here. Um, I've had this mower since 2019 and I've still yet to do an oil change. Um, I did one today on the uh, lawn tractor and I decided I'm going to do one on the push mower because it honestly needs it more than the rider. So we'll pull this out of the garage and have a look at it. I don't have a funnel right now, so that's the issue I've um, ran into. So let's see if I have one of those. I don't think I do. Um, when I changed oil on uh, the tractor, I used a makeshift funnel, and I'll show that. I'll show that off and what I did uh, for that. But I'm just gonna check quickly over here to see if it's anywhere in this pile of junk. If not, if it is over to yeah, if it's over here. I try to keep it hanging up over here, but I'll go I'll go ahead and use it and then not put it back. And it gets really insane to keep track of so much stuff. And I've been trying to keep myself organized to the point where if I use a tool, I put it back when I'm done. But obviously, as you can tell, I'm not really staying true to that. It might be over here. Let's turn some light on. I'm just going to check a few spots. I don't think it will be over here, but um, it's better checking than not checking. Because I would rather use something proper instead of that makeshift funnel again. There is a top part to a gas thing. This might be able to be useful. No, I'm not sure. It's a vented one, so. Um. <coughs> is it over here? Might also be in this mess of stuff. I mean, it's dehumidifier. The glove should not be on the ground. It should be up here with the other one. The last place I had the the uh, funnel was on this shelf right here, and it has um, gone missing. I don't see it over here. Is it, is this stuff? No, it's not. Um, how about back here in this corner, which we need to light again? I don't believe it is over here, though, so I don't know what the point is of checking if it's not going to be here. A bunch of random stuff back here, but it's not back here. Well, it's not in this corner because I just cleaned this corner out last weekend and it wasn't in there. So, um, we'll see if our makeshift funnel works. Uh, let's open this door first. And still have to clean up a mess from changing that one. It was just black. But he used the smaller oil bottle, cut it in half. It still couldn't get in the tube, so I cut down a little ways. So it did get in eventually. And we're using 10W, SAE 10W30. This is what the lawnmower manufacturer recommends. And it's a uh, half quart of oil that the mower uses so there is a dipstick as you can see by the sticker it calls for 10w30 there is the dipstick um, and like I said earlier the manual uh, reckon, uh, says that you should use it doesn't really recommend it says that you have to or your engine will freaking blow up um, a uh, half quart of 10W30 oil. Um, I'm going to bring it over here to my gravel area, which this isn't the proper thing. You should uh, drain it and then waste it like the way you're supposed to, but um, 
I just dump it over here because I'm stupid. So grab our dipstick. The dipstick on this mower likes to get stuck. Let's get a, some pliers. Actually, while I get pliers, I have one screwdriver over here. That one stays out here, but this one I'm going to bring inside because it's not supposed to be out here. I actually have a small set of vice grips that are also out of place that I saw over there. I'll grab those. So I can put these away when I'm done. Well, not exactly the best thing to do. Pocket that. It's already five minutes into this video. Most of it is probably just looking for a funnel. I won't be surprised if this video is over 20 minutes long because I can make those now because YouTube's uh, it's gotten rid of some of the stupid rules. So here is the dipstick. I would say this does look very, very bad, so that in the pocket as well and how do you oil drain on this now which is kind of abysmal but it works is you tip it on its side so do that try to do it quickly so i don't get it all over the deck that was a bit too hard if i didn't damage the self-propulsion mechanism i did punch the bar out though that's back in there we got our oil draining How's our oil looking? Yeah, that definitely needed to be changed. I have a few hours on it. Or I have over six hours on this thing. Suggested you should change it within the first 30 minutes, but... I'll say it's been longer than that. I think I see a few... Actually, you know, that's just dust coming off of it. We'll let that drain for a little while and this would be a good opportunity to pull my blade off and sharpen it which i'm going to eventually might just might just be time for a new blade for this mower and you can see it's just <laughs> really caked up with grass and stuff right now Ugh. i don't think i've cleaned this thing recently i know i cleaned it a few months ago back when i started um, cleaned it up before the end of the season, but I cleaned it up a few months ago because I was mowing a bunch of wet grass. This will need a scraper. Definitely, for sure. And you see, it's just all, it's all clogged up in here. It's... It's insane. It's like moldy up here too. So I guess it was wet grass at some point in time. I see some corrosion. It's wow. It explains why this thing was cutting so bad. This right here. I did just use this mower yesterday, actually, yesterday afternoon, and I mowed my yard with it. I want to get this wash port cleaned up because I've been having my hose out a lot for different things, so it might be actually might actually be somewhat easier for me to use the uh, wash port. The stickers are peeling off too, which is probably not a good thing. It's just it's insane this mower here is equipped with a five horsepower predator Turn this stuff off because the fan is scraping on it yeah there goes that I guess this right Oh, this is metal. 
I always thought this piece here was plastic. I never had to change the belt on it before, but I guess it's metal because it's starting to rust along there because I can't take care of my own equipment for some reason. This is all my fault. I know I should be keeping this all clean. I also th would have expected them to put a cover, like a plastic cover or something around here to keep the grass out. That would be a part of that, but no. That cover there that goes to the back, that covers the belt, it's still kind of open somewhat, so. Definitely. But I will say on this model, it looks like they've made it somewhat easier to change the belt compared to the old versions. Uh, I know the early O2 I have, I'm not really looking. Well, actually, I think that one has the gap on the top, like the uh, top cover that comes off. Well, this one does too, so it might actually be easy to replace the belt on this one as well. But here's the transmission, there's the belt, the drive wheels, the axle. The tires are actually looking pretty good on the back, so I don't need to get a new set of those because those are not really the cheapest. This is a 2019 Toro Super Cycler. I bought this brand new in October of 2019, if anyone wonders. But, and that's the mulch plug, so. You can get some of this other random, randomness out. No, the job would go quicker off camera. That's why I did the riding mower off camera. I was actually having some issues with measuring the stuff for the dipstick. Um, I actually overfilled it somehow, but I don't know how. Maybe that one was supposed to take a quart and not a quart and a, and a half. So, um, yeah. So I actually had to dump out some of the new oil, and I, that required removing the whole thing for a little bit and my hand got soaked in oil and it just wasn't really a good experience. I had a feeling that was going to happen though, so careful. And this blade is just, it's awful. It's really dull. Um, well, actually I should probably rot rotate it the other way. Really dull. Just needs to be cleaned up, so. Scoop some of that stuff out of the way. Oh, this is a side discharge panel over here. And this right here is just it, like it's all grass build up along here. It's 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 crazy. This has been a good mower though. I'd recommend if you have one of these, take better care of it than I than I am or whatever. I, I use this thing almost daily because I'm I mow professionally. I'm still seeing little drop strip out of it, so I'm going to keep it on its side for a little bit longer. Uh, we'll check the other mower. This one's my spare. Um, this is a 2002 Toro Super Recycler. With a six-horse Briggs Quantum. And I will say this one here. It definitely needs a good refill as well. So, I have the oil today, so I might as well drain it and get it working. That snapper back there is actually in better condition in turn with this oil than this mower is. Wasn't really expecting to do this one today. This one also needs its blade sharpened. This is my spare. I got this earlier. I bought, uh, I bought this mower earlier this season. Um... Occasionally, it has some issues with its old age. It doesn't do a good job with mulching. And this engine doesn't have nearly as much torque as the Predator. But I will say, these Quantum Series, they're easy to find parts for. They're a very common engine. And they're one of my favorites to use. So this here for the time being. And that, that, that oil is just black. It needs, it needs to be replaced. This one here, I believe, actually has a drain plug on the bottom. But for convenience sake... I'll do it this way. And we'll have a look at the bottom on this one, too. And this is very similar to the other one uh, in terms of construction. They look completely different. Um, this one has a bigger transmission. It's actually a more complex. It's actually a free-speed transmission. Is That's just a, nor a normal variable speed transmission that uses belt tension, which is actually a lot simpler design, and it's easier to use. 
I personally prefer that transmission over this one. This one's a bit more clunkier. Keep in mind it was 2002 and variable speed transmissions I don't really think were a thing on push mowers. Well, I know uh, Aaron's had some friction drive setups. This is pretty insane. I don't remember the last yard I mowed of this one. It was probably over a few weeks ago. I've been using these kind of back-to-back -back interchangeably. Um, so... This whole deck here will get coated. This one does a better job with the newer one in terms of uh, keeping things. I don't know what this stud right here is. It might be a washout port. I can't tell. That's right underneath the muffler, so I don't think it would be a washout port. Plus, I don't recall this more having provisions for a washout port. I might add one in the future just for convenience sake. Um, but with this mower, I've not not really had the opportunity to use a wa the washout port. It seems like the deck kind of dips up over here where it goes out towards the front. That's interesting. This one does it too, but it has a mulching wedge right here to kind of keep that from happening. Everything on here seems to be really dry. It doesn't crumble off because last time I used this one, I probably mowed with wet grass with this. This one I definitely did dry. You can tell because it's just really thick and hard to get off. But this one's also been sitting for longer. Let's have a look at the oil that came out of this uh, six horse quantum. Yeah, that's some pretty bad stuff. I might have to tip it over a bit more just so I could get some of the other stuff out. Got a wood block here in the burn pit, so prop up one of the wheels. We got a bit more coming out. I'll I'll say the the predator is done. Ooh. Thankfully, no oil, no, no oil on the deck. So let's get this into the garage where, where we will uh, do the refill. And I thought it would fit around there, but it doesn't. I must have put it in through the other way earlier. Got to clean this mower up too. So I've been getting some yards mode tonight, but I was tired and hungry, so when I got home, after buying the oil, I took a nap. Still don't see the funnel. Maybe for whatever reason it's in this air conditioner, which it is. Yeah, so for whatever reason, the funnel is, in, is, been, is within this window air conditioner. That's awfully nice. It actually looks pretty clean on the inside, too, which makes it even better. So, we'll stuff this dingus in here. Um, we'll get the dry pot out. I'll set up the camera. And then we'll start filling oil into this lawnmower. Well, we'll start the process of filling the oil. Again, this mower calls for a half quart. So, we'll give it a half quart. Leakage. Got a bit more to go.
hand was probably in the way. Get the dip stick. And with this mower, when you put the dipstick in to check the oil, you just set it in there. You don't screw it in. You let it sit there on the top. That's what the manual says. I don't know why they did it like this, but and you pull it back out to check the oil. And we are right there in the middle. So I'll go I'll go a little more just to be cautious. be safe and sorry because I don't want this engine to blow up. This mower is kind of important. Um, that should be enough there. Let that trickle off. Hopefully that's not in the sight of the camera. And that's perfect. This screwed in. I should have probably warmed the engine up a bit before I took the oil out of it. that aside and we'll come back with the other mower here's the other mower I don't know the specifications of this so I'm just gonna add a half quart and see how this looks um, have a look at the bottle here so we'll be down to this ridge right here so i have no idea because it looks like my fuel cap's leaking right because it was sitting on the side so let's see that again just for all i know that could be enough It looks like that's enough. Got a dipstick. Got oil, we're a little above the fill line now. Um, so we'll just go take a little bit of the oil out of this. I'll be right back because I don't think anyone wants to see that. So we have the proper amount of oil uh, drained out of these machines, and I'm just gonna fire this one up to see what it does. It's probably going to smoke out the garage, but we'll see how this goes. Put this in neutral.
that lawnmower works. We'll do this one now. There's some random bolts and stuff sitting here on the floor because I have a hard time keeping this garage clean for some reason. That looks on the camera. Uh, we had a little bit of white smoke pour out of that one. This one doesn't really pour smoke, but I won't be surprised. This is a Chinese engine, but it's a lot better than the modern Briggs engines. Let's see if we got a uh, first pull wonder today. sounds good too um so both these mowers seem to have they've had they didn't smoke a whole lot i want to check this one over here this is my utility mower it's an 1885 uh, mower pro, which is an ayp deck and i don't know what year the engine is but it's a smaller uh three and a half horse predator this one's under the power more branding but it still shares the same OEM as the engine that was on the uh, Toro. So this one, I believe, I know has pretty bad oil. Um, there's something there that nicked me. This engine was originally on a 21-inch um, Oakmont push mower. And... I'll say the oil that's in this, this engine is really low on oil. So if I just dip this in there. And pull it back out. Maybe this, actually I think this one here, you're supposed to turn it. Like so. Like thread it in first before. See how much oil there is. I don't know. I know on the other mower you just touch it barely on the top. Still, there's like barely anything on this dipstick. So, um, let's let's do something about that first. Um, this mower here, it's going to be kind of a pain. There is a oil drain, but if I do the oil drain, it's just going to drain oil all over the mower deck. And I kind of don't want that right now. So, we'll push these mowers out of the way. Put this one over here. This one can go in the garage while we're draining the other mower. I hope this one here isn't too full of gas, because I believe when this one you tip it on its side, it likes to really um smoke pretty bad i know those newer briggs overhead valve engines like the really cheap ones the plastic carburetors are putting on mowers now those ones will really just screw a lot of things up so let's tip this this one i'm gonna have it already got all over the deck and the discharge chute so that's, that's really nice. There wasn't much oil in there. No, it seems like it's only pouring if it's on the side. If I do it like this, it doesn't seem to. Do as much. And that's some really dark oil too. to be draining now. Uh, we'll push these mowers in the garage. This one goes right here underneath this trash bag. 
which I'm eventually going to fold away. The utility mower goes back in this little nook, and then the, the uh, main mower goes right, right in this area. Um, here's my 38-inch deck for my lawn tractor. I have a 42-inch 12-gauge Craftsman deck on here, which is definitely an upgrade. Um, thinking of modifying this because it does clump along the sides. I might raise it up a little bit. I'm still working with things. I have a yard. Um, it's going to be really thick because I've not mowed it in a while because um, this tractor has been down. I got a new tire put on it today. Well, got a tube in it. Um, this tire here was punctured, so I got a tube in it. Sadly ruined my little dust cap that goes on the outside, so I don't have one of those right now. But that's fixed and working. So I can take this on location tomorrow and get a yard mode. Um, this seat here is also kind of knackered. So I have a uh, um, another seat. I think it's back here. Yeah, it's right there. It's a, a Husqvarna seat. And I'm going to put that on here because that one's in a lot better condition than this one because we have posts and stuff missing from underneath it it's getting a bit dark outside so hopefully we'll have some light to work on this but you can see this is just really messed up right now we're missing a slaw it's just it's just junk that's literally what it is it's junk so got got to get that seat replaced I have some seats over here in these craftsmen so I might just take one of these off and put it on here this one here has a rip going along here. This one's looking a bit better. We have a rip here, though. These are both worth saving. I'm parting these tractors out just to have some more room. Um, this one I really wanted to keep, but uh, I'm just going to... Um, my parents said if I uh, get rid of some of these tractors, they will help pay for a new machine. I've also not even showed that zero turn yet. It had a 18 horse opposed on it, which literally blew up because I was it was running with low oil. Um, I didn't even bother checking it because I thought the person I bought it from knew that there was enough oil in it. Put a, put money into getting carb cleaned up and uh, getting a carb kit for it and getting the um, something else done to it. I can't remember. Uh, the coil and spark plugs spark plugs back actually no spark plugs never even arrived and, uh, i don't know whatever um the engine was junk anyway i was going to put this kawasaki on there but now i'm having issues with the pulleys that that snapper uses which are these pulleys and they were just seized onto the engine so when i pulled them off they just got all bent and i don't know where to find replacement pulleys so i'm kind of screwed right now <sighs> um, let's get oil in this and call it a night. I'm mean, gonna guess this is just like the other mowers. It's gonna take a half a quart. These uh, Chinese predators, they're actually really reliable, at least for me anyway. Uh, these are residential engines, but they're easy to work on. Oops, did I overfilled it? Man, you gotta go really slow in filling this thing up. This thing, it doesn't really like accepting new oil, I guess. Man, that, this thing, this thing sucks. Did an oil change on one of these before, and it had the uh, long dipstick, the one that went all the way up to the top, so I didn't really have any issues with that. Now, this is 
a lot of fun. Oh, that's a quality control sticker. That doesn't have anything to do with the, the engine specs. That looks good. Okay, so we have a good amount of oil in there. It's in the clear. Um, I've had a lot of people, a lot of commentary about this mower in the past, and I just want to make a video talking about it sometime in the future. This mower deserves its own video. Um, I did that one, I think I did two videos in total of uh, cleaning up a yard with this. I did a really bad job. Um, I did clean it up with the leaf blower after I was done, and, uh, that's pretty much all I did. I didn't go hit it with a weed eater or anything or go and clean up my windrows. Um, there's also a reason why this mower has a chute, too. But, um, it just seems, um, um, I just keep it on there because if, if it's not on here, it will blow grass everywhere and it's just a mess to deal with. But, nice little mower. Really small engine with a big deck. The blade on this is dull as ever. Actually, I'll tip this on its side outside so I can get the, the rest of the soil off of it. And while it's tipped on its side, I can show you what my blade looks like. Which isn't really the best. Uh, I have a, I have some washers. I've got a plastic bag around here, but I got some washers underneath this enough that it's still safely on the mower but enough that the blade sticks down we have a high lift mulching blade on here too which i didn't notice it actually still seems to be somewhat sharp but i have those washers so the blade goes down a little bit more underneath the deck so when this goes down it actually blow it actually cuts a lot of the grass a little bit better I'm also thinking of here in the front, eliminating this front plate. I'll have to see. It looks like it just, it's riveted in. So, at some point in time, I'll get that front plate off of there. So that means it's just going to be a lot easier when mowing. This mower was designed to have a mulching kit on it, originally. I think this was the original blade with this mower, too. But, um, if you notice why it did add the oil, it had a sticker on it that said mulch ready. Um, probably tip upside down, which of course it is, because these big wheels on it, it does that, but this is what the bottom of the blade looks like, and yeah, so get rid of that thing up in the front. But yeah, I got all that oil done off of there. I'm going to have to clean it up tomorrow with the hose. I'm going to probably wash all these mowers. Um... This one, you typically don't have to prime it, but since it was upside down, we'll give it free pumps. Yeah, we got a bit of leakage coming out of there. And this mower's been Frankenstein with a whole bunch of other mowers. Uh, this top upper handle is off of a 21-inch Power Smart um, that I parted out. Uh, the engine from that, I think, is still kicking around at my friend's house on a... Um, on a better deck that's exactly like this a roper version it had an old quantum actually pretty similar to this one over here and it died and that one's front wheel self-propelled it has a single front wheel that self-propelled so it's kind of a junky mower but it still works it has that power smart engine on it and that thing that thing runs fine that thing's awesome um but yeah and that's just another predator clone honda clone clone hold the camera like this instead of getting the dry pod because I'm lazy. I love how this engine sounds. This engine just has such a nice sound to it. Um, oh, sheesh. The wheel for this thing's in the way. 
check the soil again in the morning to see how his, maybe more has sat into the engine after sitting overnight and stuff. I was hoping I was I'd go to the gas station tonight and get some gas, but it seems like I don't really like going out at night, so I'll stay home. Oh. We'll set this one here. And raise our handle up out of the way. Which I like how this is all quick and easy. If you were using this mower commercially and you're loading it up to a trailer and you have riding mowers that are going up against this or you want it up against a wall, this vertical handle storage is amazing. Um, I've been meaning to make a review on this mower for a while. There's plenty of videos, like video reviews on YouTube of the same exact mower being reviewed, but those are mostly just like sponsored videos where Toro sent said person mower for a review. And I, I'm okay with that and all, but I feel like actually making my own review would be better. Um, I just have to get a lot of filming, like of just going out and mowing with this thing. And with how dry some of our grass is right now, don't really know if that's easy, but the handle can fold all the way down like that, which was really nice because during winter I had that folded flat and I had another mower sitting on top of it. So just a really good system. And it also has these pads here. Um, they call it their flex system. Um, and this is really nice because you're constantly mowing and mowing a large yard with this and you're constantly picking it up and stuff. That will take a lot of paint off your back. Um, this one here. Like these older mowers, they're really stiff. This one has a bit of play in it, but a lot of the older ones, if you're going to lift them up, you just get every single shock vibration from the engine. It, it's crazy. So, there's my video of ranting about lawnmowers being preventative maintenance and all. If I get my air compressor working, we'll probably blow out some air filters on these, because I'm pretty sure these things need some help with their air filters, and uh, the, the vapor lamp has already started to turn on, so it's definitely quite late at night now.